Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out all the things Sorgatron.com. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Appreciate anybody uh, listening uh, or watching these and sharing these, liking these, uh, giving feedback. Uh, thank you so, so, so much. So I uh, wanted to talk about, of course, you know, like I said, I'm on my way uh, kind of out the door here with one of our clients and uh, talking with uh, kind of my replacements of sorts and uh, trying to establish a few things with some new people and, uh, and, and figuring out what they want to do for their social media plan and, and just kind of being involved in general. And, uh, you know, generally, I kind of just have a, you know, I, you know, when we don't have the best of situations as far as a whole strategy and all this kind of stuff, like we're trying to implement with some of our newer clients, um, you know, I, trying to teach uh, the people on board, um, you know, it, it's one thing having a social media person, right? The person that I go, I go, I go organize your tweets for you and do this and, and set things up and make some images for you. Maybe we make some videos. Uh, for you, but uh, and you do your best with that to uh, get uh, to get the personality of the staff and crew, or maybe the expert that you're working with, uh, to get on there. But especially in, in in something like the one situation where it's a it's a practice, it's a it's a it's a bunch of people that are always going in and out and and working there. I, I think it's really important to get the attitude of the place, you know, the personality of the place. And that can be employing somebody like the receptionist or an office person and saying, you know, you know, and kind of gain that across. Um, I, I've talked, I, I talked, I believe on here before about having that mind for capturing moments, right? Have that mind for, oh, this is a really cool thing that just happened in front of me. Or that's a really cool thing that, that you know, the doctor said you know, that's really kind of inspiring or thoughtful, you know, we should share that. We should say, hey, here's everybody gathering and something interesting happened. You know, let's take a picture and share that and show people what's happening here and what it's like. And it takes a bit to get in that mind frame, of course. But I think it is important to have kind of, um, I, I, I kind of call them my social media agents, right? And say, listen, I'm only here a day a week. But and, and, and I don't know and I don't know if I would find myself in this kind of situation again doing this kind of work uh, but but in this in this sort of thing or if you're in something where where you're spending only a couple hours a week or something with a client trying to get that that together for them you still need a certain level on the ground level of what is it like there right and even it's something like hey you know if you guys come across articles that really kind of resonate with what you do here right? Or, or, or something like that, just to help convey and help me understand and try to work that around. You know, I think that's really important. Um, you know, especially on a brick and mortar business, there's a lot you can do. Even, you know, kind of in our discussions today, I was like, even if you're walking in in the morning and it's a beautiful facility out there, right? Uh, we, you know, one person I was talking with, uh, this, this place to Claire, um, you know, it's a behavioral health place and there's like some boxing treatments and stuff, but it's mostly trying to move you towards this holistic kind of stuff. Um, that's not BS, you know, and, 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 and it works and they have results and the science to back it up, but you go in and, it, and it's this great place place out in Westmoreland County and it's just like just if you're walking up to the building and there's always flowers and stuff outside and it's a wonderful maybe sunrise in the morning behind the building just take a picture of that put that out there share that um, especially images you know uh, people really kind of resonate now you'd be surprised just even even today uh, uh, you know one of the guys um, that that's going to be filling in for me uh, posted just a just a page from the site, and it happened to default to the nice, beautiful, big picture of the facility, and and people started jumping in on that and responding to that, and I think that's really cool, you know, to have that kind of visual kind of thing, and and it's not just you know, for me, I was getting in the trap that all I could really share was the stuff that I was capturing on Mondays, which was going doing these educational grand rounds podcasts that we do, which is just some people lined up. Uh, you know, students and one of the practitioners lined up most of the time. And it was very same from week to week. Of course, you really kind of, you know, really freshened it up because he'd bring in these finger traps, these Chinese finger traps, or he, he'd bring these these funny glasses for people or make them wear wigs or and, and something to, to kind of stress the point of whatever aspect of like mindfulness or, 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 or anxiety and depression and, you know, that they're trying to get to for the week, you know. Uh, a general kind of betterment, right? And and I think that's that was really cool because it did kind of visualize and make that different from week to week. But you're not going to get that every week, you know. Versus you know having the rest of the week where where 
you know, interesting things happen. As the five years I'd been there, there were moments where they found a snake and put it in a crate and, and brought it in to show people, hey, here's the snake that was hanging out outside, right? Um, or there was a ferret. It's like somebody's house pet. And it ran away before we could get it. But like we were sitting in the in the group room having a meeting. And there's these big windows in the back going out to, to the woods. And uh, there's a ferret comes in and it's just saying hello at the door. You know, weird stuff like that. But if you capture those moments, it's like, look at the interesting things that happen here. This isn't a stuffy medical practice that you would probably expect if you see the name at the door and 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 Dr. Charter PC and, and behavioral therapy and, and 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 those kinds of things and the stuff that they deal with. And and again, you know, the more you can bring the people in and have them contribute, you know, and it's so hard. It's so hard to find that balance because you know, you're always, you know, you're brought in to be the person that handles this thing so they don't have to. But you still need to get contributions from them to to show them as the experts, right? So you have to figure out like, hey, can I grab you for five minutes and tell me about this thing, you know? Or hey, can you write a little bit, you know, tell me tell me about that trip you took because you, you said you had a really good walk and had, had, had a really interesting experience and it really kind of broadened you a little bit. You know, tell me about that. You know, write that up. You're taking photos. Let me share your photos with me and I can share those with the with the with with our audience, you know, and, and kind of contribute to that bigger, bigger uh, uh, conversation. So and and the more I can recruit the staff to assist in that, you know, and, and it's even even that to just sharing stuff on Facebook and and having their crew. Um, one of the guys I work with um, is really big about we're working on this podcast and and he's actually, you know, taking that podcast and and becoming the becoming the champion for that for his own podcast you know there's a lot of people that i work with that they do the show and it seems like they don't i i feel like their friends and family don't know they do this project and even if you even start there as like that internal audience and then that can spread out and spread out at least you're getting feedback from friends and family right and this guy is taking his podcast and sharing it with his clients as an extension of what they talk about, right? And right, and then again, you know, he already has an audience of the people that are already coming to him, um, and he's talking about it, and he's coming back and saying, "I'd like to write a blog. I'd like to do a blog." Instead of him sitting down and write, we're having him say, "Hey, pull out that voice recorder on your eye, on your on your smartphone." And just record that. We'll take care of it. You know, lower that barrier for you. And that's the other thing, making it easier. I've talked about, I've talked about several times lowering that barrier of access. And and the easier it is for somebody to make that content, that maybe you can take the next step as as the person putting that content out there for them. You know, shine it up a little bit, get the right formats, make sure it's cool for this platform and this platform. That's your job as the as the as the social media practitioner right um but it's also their job to you know convey a little bit of this is what it's like and this is the feeling you should be conveying to know who we are so people know who they we are when they come through the door and and become a, a client become a a a patron of you know that establishment so some ideas about that recruit your social media agents you know, and uh, if you're if you're working in a kind of a position like this, let me know what you think about this. So much more Sorgatron.com at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And of course, check out everything, all the podcasts that we're doing over at SorgatronMedia.com, a lot of other productions as well. Sidekick Media Services, if you're looking for marketing videos, presentation filming, um, social media help for your business, we're doing a lot of stuff over there, talking about a lot of new people this week to do some new projects. We're really looking forward uh, to some of this exciting, exciting stuff coming down the pipeline uh for the fun stuff for the business stuff hey all the business stuff's fun for me anyways we'll see you guys next time thanks so much for listening this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com